Hello and welcome. I am Scrapperlock, and this is City of Heroes on the private servers. We are using the Everlasting server on the Homecoming cluster, which is the unofficial roleplay server, as I have been doing for this run. And this is our Scrapper, who is a martial arts super reflex level 17. Natural Scrapper. She has 69,000 XP and 874,000 influence. You may notice there's been more influence since the last time we played this character in a mission, and that is because I um, did some role-playing with a, a group of mine. You can still see the Awaken left here from that run-through. Um, so I'm on a superhero team, the United, and um, some of them are online. But one of the players, All-Star, had made up a an architect mission. So this is the mission architect that allows you to craft your own missions, and you can run people through them. And so she made a small story, and she took us through it, and so I kept the XP gain off, and I um, only gained influence. So I'm going to finish uh, the current mission I have. I did a little bit of this. It's just finding six lost and beating them up in Skyway City. I was going to do the whole thing, but I want, uh, in case anybody's trying to figure out where do you go to find lost in Skyway, we can take a look here and, and find them. It's sort of in this region. There are lost kind of between here. We zoom in here right where we are by the train station and north up to this area and this part in here is called land of the lost i think one one of the regions in here and there's quite a few lost in that area so i'm going to just look around for them uh, we got our toggles on except combat jump because we're using super jump but we should be able to find yeah right there there's some lost and they're right around the same level we are so we should be okay now oh okay we got two lieutenants here this could be a little tough with no inspirations but I'm going to try it. What the heck. And by no inspirations, I mean no luck. Do some practice brawler and make sure that they don't um, stun me. And I'm going to go in and hit this lieutenant first with a mez and see if we can stun him. Let's hope. And then I'm going to beat these guys up and I don't think I stunned him. Oh, yes, I did. Okay, good. So that'll help me with the incoming damage. Now, remember, we've got full dual origin enhancements on these guys, so we should be doing better from the perspective of um, doing damage, from the perspective of taking damage, from the perspective of dodging, not so much. Because um, they, we, I did not get defense uh, enhancements, but we should be able to uh, hit more often. Did I stun him? I did. Um, we should be able to hit more often. We should do more damage, and we should take them out faster because we're hitting more often and doing more damage, and that should mean less incoming damage for us. So if you think about kind of the ways in which I had to deal with these guys, let's see if we can stun them again. Um, if you think about the ways in which these guys kind of, a spawn of three or four whites and two yellows would have really kicked my butt in the before, and now not so bad, right? We handled it. We got a luck, which I'm always happy to see. And I'm going to rest, and we've got to defeat one more Lost. And um, this is a mission that was given to us by Guy Denson. We've also got to visit some more of these. I visited Vitaly Chernenko, and so we have potential mission from him as well. But let's go ahead and do this, and then we'll get two more missions. One from each contact. So we need to fight one more Lost. And there are some Lost. Let's see. That's not too bad a spawn. Three guys. All right, so now what you're going to see me start doing, queuing this up, jumping in, try to stun him, which I did, and now I don't have to deal with the lieutenant's damage coming to me while I'm beating up the minions, right? Which means there's a huge amount less damage coming in, right? I'm going to stun him again, if I can. Yep, stunned him again. So, right, so he's only been able to take one shot at me while I've been beating up on his lower level, but lower rank buddies. Right, so that's a huge help. Let's see if I can stun him again. Oh, I missed him. All right, that's bad. But then we can also use knockback. Right, so if you look at this battle, right, I think he got to shoot at me three times total. Nobody else got a shot off at me, pretty much. And that's why I still have some pretty good hit points. So we've completed our mission. Got a couple of enhancements. We're going to have to do something about selling salvage because I've got 113 salvage. Um, another thing that's happened is they've, I don't, I'm not quite sure exactly how this is going to work, but it seems like they've recalibrated the um, 
auction house because I guess some of these things were selling for like 10 million or something and it was getting ridiculous. So the way they and some things weren't selling at all. So the way they've worked this is white is common, yellow is uncommon, orange is rare, right? Um, rare. Um, so I can't remember the numbers, but I think rares will sell immediately for a minimum of a million, even if there's no buy orders for them. And you can buy them for a million, I guess, even if nobody's put one up. I guess the game will just generate one for you. I'm not really sure. Um, so at this point, like, any influence we want we can get just from selling stuff, which is, you know, kind of lame. It really makes the game, to me, a little too easy, but... You know, there's nothing that says we have to sell it, and what I may do is put some of this stuff in the vault for now. Um, okay, so Guy Denson, we're going to call him, and he says, Thanks, Silver Phoenix, with any luck. We'll be able to reverse the process that has turned people into the lost. And now we have a clockwork mission. And the clockworks have been stirring up trouble in the fault line region. We need you to go to fault line. Okay. And defeat 20 clockworks there. Let's see what Vitaly Chernenko gives me. Available missions. Circle of Thorns is getting bolder by the day. They're performing arcane rituals. Read it in public. I need you to hit the streets and stop the Circle of Thorns. Or a new Tsu boss called Stormstrider has been stockpiling. Oh boy, Tsu. Well, we have some accuracies here. Been stockpiling weapons. I need you to stop him before he can use them. So let's go after the Tsu because we have not fought the Tsu yet. This is in Steel Canyon. And let's go ahead and take another mission, because we don't have any story arcs. We're not on any story arcs yet, so I don't know... Honestly, I don't know where... Like, who's going to give me the next one, so... Let's hit Jake Montoya. And see if we can get a mission from him, and then we'll go to Steel Canyon. So we may as well at least start getting cell phones on these guys. So that... Um, so that we can start you know, we can, like, call them from anywhere. And as you're seeing now, I'm finally kind of getting the hang of Super Jump again, of how easy it is to gain height when you use the rooftops properly. So here's Jake, and I got a badge. So there's an Explorer badge right here. Better Days, this statue of Red Tiger, a.k.a. Jake Montoya. So this is cool. This was um, when he used to be a superhero. He was this tiger character. That is really cool. And now he's standing by a statue. And he's going to give us available missions. And this is also Clockwork. They're causing car crashes in Skyway City. Go to Skyway City and stop them. Or Clockwork have been getting tougher recently. We think there might be... We think it might be the bearings they're using. Can you get us a sample of Clockwork bearings? So that either one of these is going to be beating Clockworks up in Skyway City. So since we're here, we may as well do that. They're usually on rooftops. Or sometimes on these overpasses. Controls. Just gonna hit tab till I find them. There's clockwork. Oh, and it's a boss too. Cool. An assembler prince. He's level 15. He should be no trouble. Let's see if we can stun him. Nope. And he's gonna summon his little minions. The one thing that I kind of don't like is when they de-summon, their minion like kind of stays there. I sort of feel like, just thematically, um, the clock when the clockwork guy summons a minion, I'm not talking about the gears, I'm talking about the guys he summoned, I kind of feel like they should just collapse. So there's a cannon knight. Okay, well, we can start using some of these enhancements because we don't need those. We should be able to beat this guy, no problem. That takes him out. And no problem with him. Back to super jump. Let's see if we can get up, because a lot of times they like to be on these very high overpasses, just like on the rooftops. There's Clockworks right there. With the Cannon Prince. Alright, so let me take a knee and make sure we have full endurance, and then we'll go fight these Clockworks. Probably not smart to... Ah! 
I just got hit by a car. <laughs> I was going to say it's probably not smart to sit in the middle of the road. Um, okay. So let's go ahead and start beating these guys up. And um, we need to defeat six more, so I think the gears count. I think they do. And so we need four more. We may be able to get it just by beating him and the gears. Are you running away from me? You're not going to get far. Yeah, he's afraid of me. You gotta realize I'm, like, purple to him. Okay, so there's three more we need, and the gears should come out. And they did. There's one. We need two more. There's one. And, ah, oh, no more gears. And there's a clockwork cog. Okay, so we should be able to beat these guys up. With no problem. Okay. So let's go ahead and stun the Lieutenant, the Tesla Knight. And then I'm going to switch to the Cannon Knight. Okay, he's running away from me, so we'll fight these guys. Whoops. And we don't need that. Kick him. Switch to him. Grab some Endurance, another Accuracy, because we don't need it. Practice Brawler in case of stun. You see how it's just little by little, you just start clicking your powers, and um, I'm starting to kind of get more of the hang of this, and it's starting to get a little more smooth um, compared to how I was doing this at first. You know, I mean, at first it was fine when I had one or two powers, and then I started to kind of get a little bit derpy at it because it's been so long. But I think now I'm sort of kind of getting the hang of it. So now we've got to go back to Montoya. And, which isn't to say, you know, I didn't... I wasn't... I don't think I was objectively bad at playing the game. At all, right? Especially given that I'm sort of talking as I go. And that can um, make things a little harder. But I had... There was a smoothness to how I used to play this game. And I have not gotten that smoothness back. That practiced... Um, just knowing exactly what buttons to hit, hitting them exactly right, tabbing between the enemies. What I just did in that battle with the clockworks is a little bit more like what I'm used to. So Starling is talking. And let me talk on the Iconic channel. Hi folks, Silver Phoenix here. Okay, I'm not changing my global handle. Um, so thanks for stopping the clockworks from causing the car crashes. Yeah, I caused the car crash by kneeling down in front of the car. So far it looks like you've got the goods. So now we ask them about available missions. Ah, perfect. This is the Clockwork King story arc. I'm taking this. I'm interested in finding out more about the Clockwork King's robots. He may be a villain, but he's made some amazing creations. Can you find out their power source? Can you get me a power source to study? So i got to defeat 15 more Clockworks. That can be done anywhere. Now, this mission is to defeat a Storm Strider, and this is to defeat Clockworks in Fault Line. So I'm hoping if we go over to Fault Line, we can actually do both of these missions. Now, fault line, is that connected to here? I don't think so. That's the hollows. So I can't remember how to get to fault line, so let's see. City. Let's zoom in. Make this bigger. I'm trying to remember. Fault line, that's Travolta. The hollows. Astoria, Eden. The hive. Founders Falls. Boomtown. Sirens Call. I can't remember where the heck Fault Line is. Craze Folly. Striga Isle. Where the heck is Fault Line? There it is. Okay, so that's south of Skyway City, so we should be able to get there from this zone. I thought so. Let's resize this map back to the zone. There it is. Okay, I was looking for red. Fault Line used to be a strict hazard zone. Now it's sort of a hybrid, half hazard, half regular zone. 
Oh, see, I missed again. Just passed a lost boss. So the trick here and that I've been screwing up on is when I want to drop, I'm not letting go of the space bar fast enough, and it's carrying me further forward than I expected. And that's what's screwing me up. Like, just there. I just did it there. Um, and some of that's because I'm talking. And I went way down where I don't want to go. All right, let's get back up here. And back up here. And there's fall line. Which also is known as Overbrook, because that was the original name. Overbrook, next exit. So we're going to go right out to fall line. So this is going to be our first time in this zone. This is a zone that... Um, I believe Fault Line was kind of the name of the villain, so what happened is there was a dam. We look at the map. Way down here, there's a dam. Um, and the dam uh, was damaged by the villain Fault Line, I think it was, in a in sort of like an earthquake. And um, so, and by the way, this is a super cool, this is the donut shop, and I think right there is the badge. I think it's actually inside the donut, but I got close enough to it that I got the Explorer badge. Old fashioned, best donuts in all Paragon City. Okay. So now this is a zone contact who's going to start this own story arc. This is Detective Kawako, right? But he's not going to give us... I don't think he can give us a mission because you can only have three missions at once. So let's go ahead and... Um, well, remember where he is. He's at the donut shop, but let's go ahead and look for Clockworks here in Fault Line. And uh, there's a bunch of shops here. There's a merit vendor. There's a store. Mirror Spirit is a trainer. So if you gain experience. And we did the last mission with no experience on. So we can turn it on again. Options. Now that we've got our story arc as well. We want to at least try to do one story arc per level. And we've got one. Which is... Um, which is this uh, Clockwork King one. So let's start looking for clockworks. I don't actually remember where the clockworks are in this area. There's Lost. Um, let's see. I'm trying to get up. You know me, I like to be up. Oh, I did that wrong. Maybe areas like this sometimes are clockwork. That's Lost. And you can see the damage, right? So the whole place used to be like this, and what the city has done is basically like fixed up that area. And then this is the aftershock area. There's a clockwork. Let's see what he's got around him since he's orange. He's plus one, but he's by himself, so no problem. Practice brawler just in case of Mez, which probably there won't be any. Let's see if we do a stun. We stunned him and we critted him. You can tell he's stunned because he's sort of wandering around. He's going to do nothing to me now because stun plus knockback equals you're not doing anything. And goodbye. Oh, missed. Goodbye. Excellent. So there's some clockworks around here. That's lost. That's lost. Clockworks. back to super jump. Yeah, they like hanging out in um, areas like this. Wait a minute, where's the clockwork I just saw? There he is. Oh, it's a different one, but that's fine. Let's see, what are these guys up to? They're holding police officers? Workers? Hostage? That's not happening. I'm gonna help this guy. Or these two guys. And your clockwork, so you're going to take extra damage from my attacks. Look at that, we just got one bar of experience already. And one thing I want to check, now that we've taken out five of them, is does that count for both? Yes, it does, so we're going to get both missions completed. Excellent. And there are more clockworks. Clockworks are kind of fun. Um, they are annoying on the endurance because of the drains, but they're fun. And um, 
They're kind of cute, which is kind of sad that you're, like, beating the crap out of these cute little guys. Um, but... Oh well. Nothing I can do. They're bad guys. They've got to be beaten. There's more clockworks up there. Okay. Back to that. Combat jump. Got to stun him, and then switch. Takes him out. We're going to need endurance. Yeah, they're tough on the endurance, these guys. Let's see if we can suns him again. So we got... Should I have him taken care of? Next guy. Him taken care of. Next guy. Stun the lieutenant. Back to this guy. See, that's how to do it, right? That's how it's done. I kept the lieutenant chain stun. And now he's just finished. Right, now they got my endurance, but they certainly didn't get my health. Seven clockworks to go on the one mission and two for the other. So we take a knee. Now once we get um, single origin endurance reducers on all of our powers and we get single origin triple slotted stamina um, endurance recovery, we won't have to keep taking a knee like this. All right, so we're done with that. Resting. Look for more clockworks. This architecture reminds me of a lot of Founders Falls. So this is where, like, you get the construction over here. So what's happened is they started from this side of the city, and they started fixing it, and they got to here. And I think the developers intended to eventually have more of it fixed. And then, of course, you know, the game got cancelled, so. Alright, so this should be the last group of clockworks we need for the one mission. Oh wow, these are both Tesla Knights. Alright, that's going to be a little tough. Stun him. Knock him back. And we'll attack this guy. Oh, that first one didn't do a stun. That's unfortunate. Let's try stunning him again. And then, oh wow, there's three Tesla Knights. Okay, so this is going to be a little rough. At least we mez that guy, you could see him wandering away. Grab a sturdy. And we've got our clue from the Clockwork Arc, from the Clockwork King Arc. But we still gotta defeat four more for the other mission. So this will be one of them. So our clue says we got a Clockwork Power Source. So now we're going to defeat three more. And so we got to look for three more clockies. That is the lost. The SWAT sergeant has those guys under arrest, it looks like. Now, one thing you got to watch with um, Super Jump in areas like this is that you don't drop into the midst of a bunch of bad guys. Right? If you're not ready for it, that could be a problem. You know, you could get stunned and knocked back and then ultimately wiped out. So, let's see if there's some maybe clocks over here. There's Arachnos. Those are villains from the villain side of the game, City of Villains. Arachnos. There's Clockworks. You can see the electricity. Alright. Combat jumping. Okay, they're just cogs, so no problem. Him. So we stun that guy, he wanders off. Meanwhile, we take out his friends. And we stun him again. 
that's how you do lieutenants. Right, so he's only been able to shoot us once the whole time, because I stunned him. So, we're now done with that as well. Okay, so we've got two contacts. Run a story arc for this one, we'll call this guy. And we're not going to ask him for available missions, because I don't think you can get more than one story arc at a time. So let's call Jake Montoya, we get a clue. The Mind of a King, thank you very much. I'm sure this will help me understand the clockworks better. I'll let you know what I discover. So we're going to go ahead and just um, basically... What's the word for it? Um, rush, if you want to call it that, this story arc. We're going to just single-mindedly do this one. Okay. So, our next mission then... What happened? I did not get a mission from him. Where'd he go? Montoya. Okay, I've got some work for you. Available missions. Next story arc. Next uh, story arc entry. This clockwork power source that you recovered doesn't answer all the many questions I had hoped. In fact, I can't seem to make it function at all. Perhaps the key lies in one of the clockwork's bases of operation. According to my sources, there's a clockwork base in a nearby office building under the control of the mighty robot called Bolts. I want you to go fight the clockwork in that office. All right. So now we're going to go defeat Bolts in Perez Park. All right, so that's easy enough. We're going to go back to Skyway City and then just go into Perez Park from there. So you can see there's still some remnants of the fact that it's a hazard zone, right? But they have people still, like, citizens here and workers because they're starting to rebuild the zone. Paris Park is four miles. So we're going to head into Skyway City, we're going to head across to Paris Park, and I will be back in the next episode with Bolts.